Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss an interesting concept, the difference between dimensions and metrics in data quality. People often mix up data quality dimensions and data quality metrics, but they're actually quite different. In today's episode, we'll dive into what sets them apart and break it all down for you. If you have seen my previous video on data quality dimensions, you're already familiar with the basics. If not, I would highly recommend to watch it before you continue with this. By end of this video, you'll get clarity on what are data quality metrics, how these are different from dimensions, and how dimensions and metrics work hand in hand along with examples. Let's begin with a quick recap on data quality dimensions. They are the different factors that help measure the data quality. The key dimensions are completeness to ensure all necessary data is present, accuracy to make sure the data reflects real world values, consistency to keep data uniform across systems, timeliness to guarantee data is up to date and available when needed, validity to make sure data conforms to defined formats and rules. Next, uniqueness, to ensure no duplicate data exists within the data set. Integrity, to ensure data remains accurate, consistency, and properly linked across systems. These are the different dimensions that guide us on what to monitor for highest data quality. Now, let's see what the data quality metrics are and how they are different. Metrics are quantifiable ways we measure those dimensions. If a dimension tells you what to look at, metrics tell you how well we are doing. Let's take an analogy to keep it simple. Think of maintaining data quality as part of maintaining a healthy fitness routine. To stay in shape, you focus on different areas like cardio to reduce body fat, strength training to tone your body, and a balanced diet for proper nutrition. These are your different focus areas, right? Which you aim to achieve regularly. But how do you know if you're making progress with your fitness goals or not? That's where metrics come in. You track specific measures like body weight to see fat loss as a result of cardio, muscle tone or strength levels for your strength training progress, overall health and immunity as a reflection of your balanced diet. In this analogy, dimensions, mean cardio, strength training, and balanced diet that represent the overall quality goals you set for fitness, like data quality dimensions, such as completeness, accuracy, consistency, etc. Whereas metrics like body weight, strength training, health, are the measurable values that help you understand if you are on track and achieving those goals. Just as you need to monitor your body's health using metrics, Organizations monitor their data using data quality metrics to assess how well their data aligns with the quality dimensions. Some common metrics corresponding to these dimensions include error rate, the percentage of data that is incorrect or invalid, data availability percentage, how much data that is missing, inconsistency rate, number of conflicting records across data sets, data latency, delays in data availability, duplicates rate, percentage of duplicate records, data reconciliation error rate, percentage of number of broken links between related data sets. Now let me elaborate how dimensions and metrics work together. If your focus is on accuracy or validity, a metric that you can measure is error rate. This tells you how many incorrect entries or invalid entries exist in your data set. For example, in a sales department, the accuracy dimension could be tracked with a metric like percentage of incorrect customer records or percentage of invalid customer emails. If a company has a high error rate, it knows that its customer database needs improvement. For completeness dimension, you might track it with a metric like data availability percentage, which indicates how much data is present compared to what is required. 
Example, in an e-commerce system, completeness can be monitored by tracking percentage of missing shipping addresses. If 5% of customer orders lack this information, the company knows it needs to improve data quality during checkout. For consistency, you could use the inconsistency rate as a metric, which identifies conflicting records across multiple data sets. Example, in a banking system, consistency could be tracked by checking for conflicting account balances across regional systems. If 2% of balances differ between systems, it's a red flag for the IT team to investigate data synchronization issues. To measure data latency, you would track data latency, which highlights delay in the availability of data. Example, in a financial reporting system, data latency could be measured by tracking the time delay in transaction data availability. If transaction records are delayed by more than two hours, it could impact real-time reporting. For uniqueness, you can track the duplicates rate, which measures the percentage of duplicate records within your data set. Example, in a marketing system, uniqueness can be measured by tracking the percentage of duplicate customer profiles. A 3% duplication rate indicates the need for data deduplication efforts. If integrity is your focus, a metric like data reconciliation error rate would help monitor the percentage of number of broken links between the related data sets. This ensures proper relationships across systems. Example, in a supply chain system, integrity could be tracked by monitoring the percentage of orders with missing product information across databases. If 1% of orders can't be linked to their corresponding products, it signals a failure in data integrity between systems. To summarize the key differences between dimensions and metrics, Dimensions are qualitative, while metrics are quantitative. Dimensions help us assess what to monitor, while metrics tell us how much or how well. Dimensions give context, while metrics offer performance tracking. You can't have one without the other if you want a solid grasp of your data quality. All in all, tracking the right metrics for key dimensions gives you a clear view of the data's performance and where improvements are needed. As the saying goes, you can't improve what you can't measure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more insights on data quality and other topics in the data world.